guys, I am working on trying to get a little bit better lighting um, with my videos and not have so much crap in the background. So I have this cool um, shade that I've had for a long time that was just sitting in my closet. Um, so now let's see if I can use this. Just try to make it not so dark. So it's cluttered. <laughs> um, so anyway, I'm just making this video kind of for myself, um, really to sort of clarify some stuff that's been going around in my brain today. Um, and what I want to talk about a little bit is mania as far as like a physical state. Um, I guess I should have really thought about this before I started making this video because I don't want it to go all over the place and I want it to make sense. <laughs> but um, yeah, I was thinking about something else before I, I start making this so I'm distracted. Um, but I guess to start with, I am starting up school again and I'm like so totally pumped and I'm so totally excited and just like, oh, like I love school. I am a total nerd. Like all I like to do like all the time is just learn new stuff. <laughs> uh, it, that is exciting to me and interesting and um, you know, that's what I'm, I want to do, like, as a career in my life, like, to just keep learning and expanding knowledge for myself and other people. So <laughs> I'm going back to school. I'm going to be registering for my classes, for summer classes um, here. So I had to go up to my university and get some stuff squared away up there. And I have not been on the campus in years. Um, <laughs> I think the last time I physically took a class like at my university um well at this particular university was <sighs> before I had kids so yeah like seven years ago and I loved school then and um so again I'm like totally 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 excited so then this like segs into all this stuff that I'm like good about to talk about um so I've been thinking a lot about mood states and mania in particular because I've been having a lot of mood fluctuations and um, like manic periods and stuff which I have enough insight into myself now that I know um when I'm going up and I know you know what it is and everything and so I'm working more on outward focus like outward control over the things that I'm doing uh, since I'm recognizing that I'm going up and all this stuff but um so yeah I'm thinking about like mania and all this stuff and I'm really like super super aware of my feelings and thoughts all the time now not just when I'm going up but like I'm always assessing um which is great because it's leading me to all these new insights and all this new knowledge and directions I'm gonna go with my life and stuff and so I'm driving to school and um you know, my university is like 30 minutes from where I live-ish. And so I'm driving, and as I'm driving, like, my mind is just going off about school and about all this nerdy stuff. And I'm just thinking about it and thinking about it. I'm getting more and more excited as I'm going, more and more excited. And, like, oh, my gosh, like, I can feel my mood rising and going, like, woo. Like, I did not start out this morning that way. I mean, I was cheerful and stuff, but I wasn't like over the top. So just the process of me thinking about something that's like super exciting to me and really like something I want to do is like making my brain go up <laughs> and sort of the anticipation of doing it. And so I got to the parking lot and everything and I was like so bummed up at that time. Like I'd been listening to the radio all the way there and just like, you know, grew it in my car and my brain's going off about all the stuff I'm going to do and is everything relating to school and I get to the campus you know and I'm walking through the parking lot and it's just it was awesome <laughs> and I get up there and by the time that I had gotten to like the financial aid office where I needed to go my mind I, I couldn't focus it at all because it was so like everywhere um I had like somewhat of a hard time even kind of articulating to her what I needed because I was so my mind was preoccupied with something else 
And I'm like, no, you know, I got to focus. So then I sit down and I'm filling out the paperwork and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to focus and, and et cetera, et cetera. But then I get to thinking, um, you know, about our physical state, like the physical state that I was in was excited, like physiological, I mean, like my heart was racing. Um, you know, I was kind of like a little bit short of breath. Um, just like not jittery, but kind of like a, like a restless energy. Um, stuff that obviously has a, a biochemical basis because it's happening within my nervous system. Um, and so then it led me to something else, which is this is what I was going to talk about because I kind of had this insight or whatever as I'm thinking about this and I'm thinking, okay, so I'm elevated and I'm excited and all this stuff's happening to my body um, and all of this stuff. And then I realized, you know, this is very similar to feeling anxiety or agitation physically. Um, you know, when you're, you have a lot of anxiety, you're, you know, same thing. You, you breathe really f quickly and your heart is racing and you become shaky and maybe like sick to your stomach or whatever. But like the source of those things is two very different things. And so it really was like, bing in my head because it's like, here's this like negative mood state of like anxiety. And here's this positive mood state of elation. And yet physically, the same thing is happening to my body. And it makes me think, okay, does that mean both this positive state and this negative state have a physiological basis in the same manner in our brains? Are they related in some way? Because really think about it. Think about like a situation in which you would be anxiety ridden or um, really elevated and, and not even like mental health related. But let's say uh, you're a person that doesn't like to get in front of people and talk and you have to go give a speech. You know, it's like the fear, the fear is what's causing your heightened, you know, your nervous system to be heightened fight or flight sort of response <laughs> and um so yeah I, all those cascade of things begin happening to you but then on the other hand when you're excited say like you just start dating somebody and you're like gonna have your first kiss right and you're so excited like the anticipation of that happening it causes all these things to happen within you too but a lot of it is the same but this one is a positive thing that one is a negative thing so that was just like a really weird and interesting sort of revelation that I had um, of something maybe for me to sort of get into a little bit more